I'm great. Happy to be here. Crazy uh, 24 hours. Yeah, I mean, look, today felt good. It's a good first day. We obviously have a lot of, not much time to get used to each other. Um, but yeah, I got here this morning. I didn't know what the schedule was and walked into Ben and Mike's office and they said, hey, you're gonna kick today. I was like, cool. I'm tired, I've got five hours of sleep, but let's do it. Um, but no, look, for Sean to come over and get me like he did, it's an honor. Um, you know, it's great to be appreciated. It's great to be wanted. Um, and man, I'm just really fired up for a fresh start and be out here. Yeah, look, it takes a little bit. Um, you know, fortunately, we have you know, 10 days to the first game or whatever it is. So the good news is I've worked with Riley before. We trained with the same guys. Um, so first time working with Mitch, but we'll get squared away. And I thought today was a great step in the right direction. Yeah, I mean, the one time we played here, y'all didn't have a quarterback. Or we now, I guess, right? I got to get used to saying that. But so that was an interesting experience. But, um, you know, it's, I don't really think about the altitude when, I, when, when I'm kicking, but obviously I can feel that there's a difference. Um, but, you know, it's nothing that makes me adjust anything. You know, I'm not playing the altitude like you would a win. Um, I just come up here and kick my A ball and let the altitude do its thing. <laughs> I definitely those half gassers at the end of practice were tough though. <laughs> I'm used to the low sea level, so. Sean Hayes works guys hard, but everybody always talks about how much they, you know, love him as a coach and all that. And they, he said it's an honor to come back and play for him. You know, what's the whole dynamic surrounding him? Look, coaches, he's he tries to get the best out of everyone, and I truly feel like my best years were with him because I was kind of scared to let him down, and I think that's you know that's how a leader is, right? Um, but look, he's a proven winner. He's won a Super Bowl. We down in New Orleans. We should have had another one, but we won't approach that situation. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's a leader. He's an offensive guru. Um, guys want to win for him, and um, I think you guys have probably seen that out here throughout training camp. So I'm excited to be back here um, playing under, and um, and we'll go to work. Yeah, that was tough. Um, I was a guy who's never had surgery in my life, and I went to two and three month span. So, you know, mentally more than anything, it was the hardest thing I've gone through, you know, missing a year. And, you know, we had one surgery, thought I was coming back, and the next thing you know, it turns out I'm having a second one. So, you know, the hardest thing is watching someone else do your job. And, um, you know, that was difficult. I wanted to play, I wanted to be out there. Um, but look, 2022, 20, no excuses. I didn't have a good year, and that's just, you know, that's all on me. It was mentally, I didn't feel like I was in the right space. Kind of felt like a rookie again um, after missing a year. And, you know, I didn't play in front of fans in 2021 because of COVID. And then 2020, no, I'm sorry, 2020, no fans. 2021, I didn't play. And so 2022, week one was my first time in front of fans in a year, in two years. So it was very eye opening. Um, I didn't handle it the right way. And so, um, you know, I really spent the offseason working on my mentals and, Kind of get back to where I was before that. Josh told us a story a bunch. I mean, probably more of you were the, the answer to a kicking competition than once got somebody else. So as you're going through it, were you thinking, okay, there's opportunities elsewhere, this being one? Yeah, you know, I didn't. I tried not to focus on it too much. We had a talented kid down in New Orleans, and I got to give got to give him credit. He did a great job. Um, felt like I had a great camp. Um, but you know, when you when you don't play a year and then you have a down year, you put the decision in someone else's hands. And that's the worst thing about this industry is you want to be able to control your own, your own destiny. And, you know, when you have a down year, that's just kind of how it works. So I put the decision in their hands and, you know, it didn't go my way. But, you know, I get a fresh start. There's a silver lining to everything. I'm, I'm super excited to be here. And, um, yeah, I'd be lying if I didn't say this was one of my spots I was hoping I'd land and kept an eye on it all year. And I'll say this. I thought Brett Maher did a great job. I think the world of Brett, um, he was in New Orleans when, when I was injured. So. He just signed with the Rams. I'm happy to see that, and um, I hope he does huge things for them. Oh, I've already talked to him. <laughs> that almost ended my career. I was like, hey, I didn't even do anything. <laughs> uh, I, but look, freak play. Um, great play by him. 
they did step out of bounds, but white shoes. So uh, smart, <laughs> smart play by them. But man, one of the craziest situations I've ever been a part of. That's for sure. To me, it was just kind of reset, you know, understand what I've done in the past in my career. You know, I've had a successful few years in the NFL and that's not on accident. You know, you don't you don't make it in this league uh, by mistake. So I know what I've done in the past has worked. And, you know, this year it was kind of like, hey, I got competition in New Orleans, but I'm, I'm going to keep my head down. I'm going to work and I'm going to prove that, you know, I'm, I'm who I was in, you know, 16 to 19. And so um, I felt like I did that. I was very comfortable, very confident in what I was doing. and. You know, now I'm here, and I'm hopefully I get to show that off. Thank you, very much, Thank you guys.